Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be between Royal Blue and Tim, game two. And I'm curious, and it's on Eclipse. I'm wondering if we're going to have a better showing from Royal Blue on this map, being that it is two player. It's a little bit more uh, Eclipse being Eclipse. We haven't seen Eclipse in a while, but Eclipse having a little bit of a wider choke, yeah, can still be harassed by Zelts and Goons and whatnot, but it's a little less, uh, I don't know. It's, I feel like there's more opportunity for Terran to be annoying with Vultures and things like that. Wider natural expansion for Vulture play. Tim playing it perfectly though, game one. And I'm not sure if it was accidental or intentional with that Zealot move out timing, but man, he hit that perfectly. Moved the Zealots right underneath as the tanks were sieging. The tanks were completely clumped up, obliterated them. Great, just amazing play. Pylon being warped near that Vespin Geyser. So we'll see if, looks like this time Royal not opting to go for that front door seal. I'm curious if he can sneak an earlier command center this time as well, or if he's going to try to go for a two base play. So I'm wondering if Shafir just kind of, what if he's dropped below Tim's skill level in the off season? The other thing is, is I haven't seen Tim go through the, usually I have really good lock on guys when they've gone through Chobo League and when they've gone through Hasu League and I've been able to cover them. I haven't been able to cover Tim yet. I want to though. You hear me, Tim, if you're watching this somehow, I want to cover you in Hasu League or whatever. So get out there. Maybe even, hell, go aim for Gosu, dream big. Um, I have no idea where, where, what Tim's capabilities are as far as the international rankings of uh, whatnot, but anyway. Barracks produced, refinery as well. You got that little gap for the Marines to be able to defend SCV making its way across. Seven X core towards the rear. Free probes moving into gas, and we'll see if so. We'll see if Tim opts for an initial zealot. Currently, I'm thinking he's just going to drop that. Yeah, additional pylon, and go for the dragoon instead. Royal should get pretty good eyes on what's going on here, and we'll see if, in response to that, after the initial three marines, if he goes ahead and maybe even a little bit early tries to get a bunker down up on the low ground. Seeing that, uh, recognizing that, okay, I got you got the two pylons in the base, Cybernetics Core warping. Go ahead and, yeah, move to the low ground. So, yeah, Marine making its way, factory being built. Actually, skipping the second Marine, getting that factory down a little bit earlier. First Dragoon in production. Tim still hasn't sent out a probe scout, so I believe that is the probe scout now. Although, cycling back around to get a bit of damage. So angling, oh yeah, maybe I'm taking a, my command center right there, but really just getting some little bit of free damage there. I think Tim's still not scouting, actually. So playing, so he's going to drop that command center in the dark with absolutely no scout. And maybe just going to, let's see if he just uses his Dragoon to scout. Dragoon wailing on that SCV. Double factory in response to this from Royal, which I do not blame him with. I think he recognizes that there was no scout on the field. He's got... One gate into expansion, and now Tim potentially going to have a tough defense. See if that Dragoon, like, maybe the Dragoon, if it moves out there. I don't see there's any way that he's going to be able to garner the information he's looking for, though. Two SCVs currently sneaking to the south. Three Marines backing up. What's going to be critical is that the Marines actually engage the Dragoon a little bit further forward. And a bunker be placed regardless. Yeah, okay. So there's the bunker. Four Marines here. To try to, yeah, make more... The Marines not quite grouped up to make that a huge threat. Let's see if Tim is now diligent to check for that command center behind this. I think he was in game one, so... But right now, still sticking to that single gateway. Another SCV sneaking through. Yeah, confirming that that command center is going to be complete. So Royal, I guess, sneaking out that second SCV because he wanted to confirm the scouting information. But he's got to love what he sees. Second machine shot being dropped. Initial siege tank being produced. So it's going to be that siege tank, I think three vulture. And four marines rather than five. To follow up. So there's the first siege tank. Let's see if we see the double upgrades behind this. And I like that he's holding the SCV in this position as well and doing everything. He's telegraphing expand really, really well here. Although, might have revealed something with that siege tank, because that siege tank was maybe a bit early. Yeah, I think that might be an indicator to Tim now. 
So has a robotics facility on the way, still producing Dragoons. Let's see if he moves more up to the front, because maybe if he does some staggered attack as a follow-up. No, it's going to be three siege tanks. Vultures with Mayans to follow up with the S with the SCVs. So interesting. So three siege tanks now. The Marines joining. Four SCVs. Tim almost losing a Dragoon for free. Keep in mind, range has not yet quite finished. So it's challenging to stagger step these troops and Tim getting caught with his pants down. It looks like he wanted to go for a quick third expansion, just assuming that there was an expand behind this. So it might be a quick win for Royal. Two Dragoons piling up there. These Dragoons completely moving to the north. Maybe they're going to go for that pincer attack. These Dragoons starting to stage forward. Their Vulture actually getting away. Those mines are actually a critical part of this attack. And for whatever reason, Royal engaging those Dragoons to the north. This is giving time for Tim to... So he's got two gateways up now. He's tacked on four. He's got the robotics facility. He has a shuttle. This is giving him time to potentially mount the defense, although it's still going to be rough. Two Dragoons, shield battery on the front. The three Dragoons just going to go ahead and potentially back out. The, just seeding the front. The tank's now sieging, dropping an engineering bay. <clears throat> and things looking rough for Tim. He is going to have that shuttle to potentially do mine drags to follow this up. Currently in the red, though, which does not help. The Vulture's sweeping into that natural expansion. The Dragoons are going to be able to go ahead and clear that up. Bunker being established. So Royal sealing that natural expansion up. However, there are four gateways up. Zealots could join the shuttle. That might be sufficient to bust, and these siege tanks are rather close to one another. The probe's now exiting that natural expansion. I think Tim's going to have to sack this natural regardless, but considering how late this command center is going to go up, he still might end up in an okay position at the end here. Still single Dragoon, actually, flooding from the rear. So six Dragoons towards the front, some Zealots piling into that shuttle with the Reaver. Engineering Bay now spotting forward. A turret underneath that is in range of those Dragoons, but I think that Engineering Bay is... Well, I don't... Yeah, they can't focus fire it. So now those siege tanks do have double turret protection, <coughs> a bunch of mines, and a lot of those marines as well. So the natural expansion is certainly going to get taken out. Dragoons now under heavy fire. The vultures pushing forward, planting more mines in the natural. Things looking desperate for Tim. Single probe trying to sneak out and do what it can. The shuttle going for a complete end around. Royal still hasn't dropped his natural expansion. But this shuttle could create some havoc. One siege tank out. This might be sufficient defense. If he's got to trail that, though. Reaver taking some shots, and they need to stick near that SCV line. Oh, a big bunching of SCVs, though, for these shots. Luckily, it's a dud, and yeah, I don't think this is going to be sufficient. And in the meantime, opposite side, Royal slowly making his way up, able to get on top of that siege tank at the main. More vultures pressing up. Yeah, just a flood of vultures hunting down some SCVs, trying to get some disruption. A mine finally clearing out what's left. And the engineering bay able to spot that ramp defense. So now back to mining. Although, yeah, get those SCVs back in the gas as well. But this might be a sufficient troop count for Royal to go ahead and finish things up. Just needs to reposition those troops. And yeah, those zealots making their way down while, while vultures are out of the way to try to maybe do some mine clearing. Tim actually up 20 supply right this second. Can range these sea shanks from the north, and now pushing forward, looks like he is going to be able to breach. So the Reaver is disrupting the economy, also disrupting Royal and his defense on the front. So Tim able to reopen his natural expansion, has stayed on top of... He's actually done a good job of sticking at 27 workers, so not overcommitting workers currently. And able to wiggle back out of that natural expansion. Has an observer here is going to clear some mines as well, so going to be able to re-grab his natural. And now the game resetting a bit. Let's see if Royal... Royal in a bit of trouble now, actually. Hasn't kept up with his macro is actually down 20 supply. Another shuttle with that Reaver, and he might have some trouble defending his front. 
Tim redropping his his Nexus there might go ahead and wander up and take and double expand and start attacking that natural. The Marines making it back to the front. Some mines being dropped, but I don't know how long those are going to be effective. And Royal still has not grabbed his natural. Now sitting at 27 SCV, still sitting on two factories, has three siege tanks and a bunker full of Marines to try to defend what's left. A vulture sneaking up wants to stop that probe from getting up here. Does take out that probe, so at least that's going to delay a quick third. But all of a sudden, Tim, as long as he gets up and... Yeah, he's going to move up with that shuttle. Might be able to even expand behind this and get a crushing lead. Oh, going to wander up. Four siege tanks. None of them sieged. So that Reaver might get a pot shot to go ahead and delay that natural even further. Looks like it's not going to bother. It's just going to go ahead and wander into the main. The SCV's grouping up once again. Let's see if a solid Reaver shot lands. This time, oh, are you kidding me? That was a dud, but a Reaver dropping again. Huge explosion that time. And another grouping of SCVs, another big group shot. All of a sudden, Royal down to just 19 workers, and that's worth that Reaver and the Zealots. Plus, troops starting to gather up near that natural. Tim can, could double expand behind this safely. He's got four gateways to pump out troops, and he can go ahead and start pumping more Reavers. Natural expansion still not up for Royal, and even when it gets up, what a turnaround. So Tim, I thought, was going to be done. Oops. Dropping something here at the main. Hopefully that didn't kill my mic. Ugh, hate that. So Royal, I think, just going to gather up, and I think he recognizes the turnaround situation. So just going to engage. And push out and, yeah, push these troops back and maybe go for a kill. However, Tim, I think, has sufficient troops that as soon as he bundles them together, he's got a decent supply lead. He's got 30 supply lead. So maybe some free shots. So the bonus is like, yeah, a couple free shots on these zealots. But as soon as Royal makes his way to the, the full troop count, I think this is going to be easily to easy to take out. Royal trying to slow siege this forward a little bit. The Dragoon's pressing forward. The Zelts do not have leg speed, but they are going to be able to get on top of that siege tank to the north. The Vulture is very rapidly wiped out. And the siege tank's now in full retreat to the north, and that might be it for Royal. Trying to drop mines, but there's observers there to go ahead and pick those off. The siege tank's in full retreat. The Vultures might be able to sneak underneath, but no, it looks like they're, they're going to get engaged as well. So Royal expending more troops. And now I don't know that he can defend his natural expansion. Trying to lay a trail of mines to buy himself some time, but right now it is 89 supply to 42. Nothing there to defend. 15 kills on that Dragoon. How did that happen? That was a great time to select. Promote that... Make him a... What are the rankings of Protoss? I don't even remember anymore. GG from Royal Blue. Tim turning it around. Oh, man. Yeah, that Dragoon needs a building named after him, like a dune. That's what I think happened there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Exciting one going back and forth. Thanks for listening.